is you let that go and you start here at the corner and then you work it and then right here right at the very bottom where I just stopped there's another clip and you hold it up and you push in and then out but you have to keep the iPod straight up you know don't hold it like this because then you'll just be working against yourself hold it like this and do that and push out and then probably like an inch later right here there's another clip and then you push in like that also and then another one right here and you push in so it can be hard because I'll show you why um, a little bit later when I get this off there's another clip right here and you do the same thing there and usually I've opened this before that's why it popped up so so um, so easily but there's another clip right here and that clip would be will be the last one you'll have to undo and then it'll be it'll most likely be shut like that and all you gotta do is just run it to the side and it's probably about the middle and then you just pop it open and then you can take you can take this out now because you already got it open and now all you have to do you know you can open it you got those sides open you put it on its front side and then you do this see that ribbon cable that's why you don't spread it apart so now you either take this blade or the screwdriver that's flat and there's going to be a little clip here and you have to pop that open pop it up it'll just pop up like that and then you that's that's for the battery that goes to the battery alright so now you have the back faceplate and you can now open it like this alright damn doing this upside down okay so now you have this this is already broken iPod um, you'll see that you can flip up the hard drive like this all right, and there'll be a clip right there that clip is to your headphones okay you can pop it open I'm doing this with one hand okay and after that all I gotta do is pull it out and you have the back part fully detached okay the next ribbon is right there and all the other videos tell you you gotta be really careful well yes be careful but I think they're exaggerating really because unless you're really um, not really really clumsy or something you you can do it you know you don't have to really oh my gosh you gotta be so careful you just saw that I just flipped it up and then you can take it out see just like that you can also flip up that other this black part but um, you really don't need to really um, unless you're gonna get a new one of these um, or your hard drives bad you just have to um, flip that up with a screwdriver and this one this can break so yes be careful there okay okay now that's the clip that's the click wheel and um, you'll want to take your flathead this is to the screen this is the back of the screen to the screen and you'll just uh, put that in there and you'll lift up and on this side too you'll stick it in there and it'll pop up you really don't have to do much here it'll just just push it in there and move it to the side and it'll pop up by itself and then after that you have these screws that you have to take off it's three screws on each side and um, I'll be back after I take off the screws um, okay okay I've unscrewed them you can see that I don't, they're only it only had four screws but with an original one, the one that's really not messed with, 
it'll have six. Okay. Okay. Now what you have now is just this is the motherboard. This is the metal bezel. You can see that. The screen connector and um, the click wheel. You take these little rubber things off. I don't know. I think they're resistors. I really don't know what they're for, but they seem to be important. Um, so now the screws are off. You'll take something flat, probably the screwdriver, the flat screwdriver, and you will insert it. I need to get find a way to put this open. Okay, I'll just set it down, and you'll you'll watch me.